Australia's domestic space industry is about to make history as it launches a series of NASA rockets later this month. Three scientific suborbital rockets will be sent into outer space from the Arnhem Space Centre in the Northern Territory. The Arnhem Space Centre is 12 degrees south of the equator on the Gulf of Carpentaria and operated by Equatorial Launch Australia. Joining us live now from Equatorial Launch Australia is Russell Shaw. Russell, really appreciate your time. Thank you. What is the plan? What are you hoping to achieve with this launch? What will the rockets be investigating? Thanks, Ash, and thanks for having me on the show. The launches that NASA are facilitate will coming into our site in a couple of weeks is really the first step for us here at, at Equatorial Launch Australia in terms of building out the Arnhem Space Centre into the preeminent uh, commercial multi-user spaceport in the world. We're operating a, a, a raft of, of services that will support the space launch and recovery industry as well as testing and looking to build this up to eventually launch more than, uh, have the capability to launch more than 50 uh, rockets a year. Goodness, okay, so with this first project though, tell us a bit about the rockets. How big are they? How far do they travel? Yeah, so the rockets in terms of size are, are roughly 13 metres in height and they are, the purpose of those rockets is really to conduct some astrophysical re, astrophysics research for two universities in the USA. They will be travelling up to around 250 to 300 kilometres into space um, before they'll deploy their payloads and then those payloads will be looking at the Alpha Centauri A and B stars as well as the uh, interstellar medium gases and particles. Right, okay, so what is it about the Northern Territory? What about, about the, the geographic location that makes that so attractive for these types of rocket launches? Well, the, the Arnhem Space Centre up near Nilamboy is ideally situated close to the equator. It's, it's 12 degrees south and there's a real benefit to launch companies launching their vehicles close to the equator because the speed or the gravitational speed of the Earth is fastest near the equator. And there are very few comparable sites that actually allow them to do that. So, some of the other benefits to the Arnhem Space Centre is its remoteness, uh, the fact that it is located in a, in a stable geopolitical environment and there's great logistics infrastructure in and around the town of Nulamboy which can support these launch providers. A lot is said about space junk, but do these rocket launches leave much junk on the ground to clean up? What is the sort of physical impact on the land? In terms of these particular launches, the first stage of the rocket will drop off around 15 kilometres from our facility and then the payload will come down around 150 to 200 kilometres. And Equatorial Launch Australia is working with the traditional owners of the land to make sure that we will safely and securely recover all of those uh, leftover parts of the rocket so that there is nothing left afterwards. Good to hear. And Russell, tell us what's it like working with NASA and, and how important do you see Australia being to that space organisation going forward? Oh, it's been, a, it's been a privilege working with them. They're clearly the most experienced space agency on the planet. Uh, the, these particular missions have actually been five years in the making as we've collaborated closely with NASA and develop the site uh, to the specs that are required to actually launch these rockets. And we think this will be the first set of rockets uh, in a long-term partnership with NASA, but we're also equally looking to attract a raft of other space companies from around the world to come and launch in Australia. And are you 100% confident that it will all go as planned or is there a bit of uh, room for error? Well, we, we clearly have a, a very specific set of safety and operational procedures. Uh, we've got 75 NASA folk on the ground who are working in pulling these rockets together and making sure that everything goes according to plan. Russell Shaw, best of luck with it. We'll be watching closely and um, hope it all does go as you're hoping. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us.